Esther was just three years old when she was subjected to female genital mutilation. Her sister nearly died from the same practice. Now, as a mother, she sent her two daughters away from the village where she grew up in a bid to keep them safe. I'm already a victim, so I don't want for my children to be a victim of FGM. That's why I take them from here and carry them in the town. FGM involves the removal or cutting of the labia and clitoris. This can make sexual intercourse difficult and cause health problems like infections, complications during childbirth and, in rare cases, death. Secret women's societies, known as Sande, carry out FGM as part of a coming-of-age ritual. The tradition is deeply rooted, with half of Liberian women subjected to it. But groups like Women's Solidarity are fighting to ban the practice. They are, some part of their body have been extracted and they, they, they got rights to their body. So if you are extracting some part of my body, and we say no because my body belongs to me. Liberia's first female president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, pledged to ban FGM as part of a domestic violence bill. But the country's gender minister says the disproportionate ratio of men to women in the legislature led to the FGM clause being removed. Yes, they passed the bill, which she have not signed yet, but we strongly believe that that bill was watered down. They took off the portion on female genital mutilation. Um, and that was a big blow to her. With President Sirleaf's mandate drawing to a close, activists fear they've lost a good opportunity to ban FGM and that it could be some time until the practice is confined to the history books.